internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got a friend here. Her name is Angel, and she's from, where are you from, Angel? I am from Houston, Texas. Hello, everyone. We're in the same time zone. You're just right down 35W. That is correct. <laughs> I'm, up, I'm up here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There we go. So, Angel, how long do you live down there? Minus my five years at AM when I was in College Station. That would be 24 years. Wow, some deep roots. I've been in Minneapolis here for almost 60. <laughs> okay. Other than I a couple of years in LA and a couple of years in Asheville, North Carolina, but deep roots in Minneapolis. So you got kids then? You're married? You're single? What's the story there? I am married. My only children are my preschool Sunday school class at church on Sundays. Okay, <laughs> so you got a lot of them. <laughs> I do, but they go home with their parents during <laughs> the week. So. Exactly. I well, that's kind of nice. It's almost like renting, isn't it? Like, I, I don't have a house. We have an apartment. Whereas if we want to leave, we can just leave and someone else has to deal with the grass. Yes. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Very cool. What does your husband do? He works in oil and gas, so he travels a lot. Oh, I got it. Sure. Mm -hmm. I can imagine oil and gas down there in Texas. There's probably a lot, a lot of that stuff going on down there. So let's talk about what you do. I understand that you help people, specifically women? Yes, specifically women. It's a good little niche because that's what they're, they're taking over, you know. They're, they're going to be in control for a little bit. I like that. That's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Got it. So what do you do for women as far as your, your coaching? Sure. So I work with them on the marketing strategies and solutions that they need to build profitable businesses. There are a lot of women entrepreneurs out there. A lot of them are not making money. So mm -hmm. I uh, show them that a business is about turning a profit and work with them on creating just five and six figure businesses that Got they it. enjoy. That, uh, my wife, she was a Spanish teacher at the University of Minnesota and I've been in business all my life. And then she got into coaching and now that's what she does. But she didn't understand the business aspects of it. And I said, save all your receipts. Save all your receipts. You go to coffee for a meeting, save the receipts. Save the receipts. That's just one aspect of you know the, the tax ramifications with being in a business. So you help people with, I'm sure, all elements of business from just the registering their name and stuff and then the branding and all that kind of stuff. I do. Uh, I cover it all. I, if I was a doctor, it would be like general practice. So I cover it all. The first thing I let them focus, though, is on cash flow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because if, if you have cash coming in, then anything else that you need to do, you can either get help with or do it yourself. Um, I just don't want them struggling. So we focus on getting them some cash flow in. And then after that, we uh, we make sure everything else is taken care of. So it's yeah, a lot of fun. I think a lot of people, when they first get into it, they, they think that the way to do it is not charge very much so they can get some business. But the reality to me is that like, like people do freebies and stuff. And to me, that if you invest zero and then it goes tenfold, you get 10 times zero, which creates a vacuum, which is called debt. Yes. <laughs> so you yes. should charge for your stuff and realize that if you cut your finger off, would you do it for a thousand dollars, ten thousand, maybe a million? What's your value, right? Yes, that's yes, that is exactly <laughs> it. And so many people don't get that. Like you said, they they think uh, they have to build their portfolio, they have to build a name, or people want they won't pay. Um, and that's not a business. That's a hobby. That's an expensive hobby is what exactly. they created when they don't charge. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that if it, they've got their own consciousness and their own mind. And if they share just one little nugget of gold, a pearl of wisdom, an experience they had, that might change someone else's life drastically. So what's that? Like, like what if you said, why don't you um, only work from like 10 a.m. and spend the first couple hours with your child? That could be amazingly valuable. And if you just gave them that little nugget of information, all of a sudden they go, you're right. I could start at 10 and spend some time with my kid. That's going to change. And the ripple effect with that 
So, so the things that you can share with other people are incredibly valuable. It's true. And <laughs> not only the things that I share are the things that you share. I feel like everyone has something to share because mm -hmm. we're all different and we all, uh, we all have a gift. So it's just really monetizing that gift. Yeah. And I, I'm not a coach type person. I'm more of a consultant or a strategist, but uh, I, I give kudos to those that coach because oftentimes we have this stuff in front of us that we can't see and we need a coach to say, you know, you don't even look good in a tie. Why are you wearing a tie? You need to be able to tell that and, that, and people don't understand that sometimes. So what's your, do you have a process? Do you, do, you, do you work like out of your home or you do remote or you do live events or how do you do your coaching? Um, all of it. So for, you know, promotional or marketing, uh, I do webinars year round. I do two live events a year. They're one day conferences. Uh, I also do monthly virtual days and with private clients, I use Zoom. So it's a video conferencing tool since I have clients all over the world. You know, a lot of people, because this internet stuff is so expansive and it's amazing and you can connect with all sorts of people and all this, they, a lot of people have kind of said, okay, instead of doing this brick and mortar thing, I'm going to shift over to the internet and do this click and order stuff. But to me, I think it's a hybrid of both in that you can leverage the internet to get people into a live event where you can actually meet them face to face and in person. Don't you agree? I agree. An in person event, your relationship is just automatically 10 times stronger. Yeah. Uh, online relationship building, it's touches. So, like you said, it's great for exposure, it's great for pushing your brand, but it's just not going to build the same level of relationship as an in person touch. Well, that's why I like video like this when we do these online things, because now I know who you are. I can look in your eyes and you got that beautiful gold stuff behind you and everything. And I know that you're not some 15 uh, year old kid from Sri Lanka screwing on on the Internet, you know. <laughs> that is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> so before I ask my favorite why question, I want to know more about uh, how to get a hold of you or if you have any upcoming events coming up and how to find out about those. So and then I'll ask my favorite question. OK, sure. Uh, so if someone wanted a complimentary 30 minute strategy session, if you are a woman entrepreneur, business owner, and you have a goal that you are struggling to reach, you can schedule a call with me at schedule.growmybrand.org. And we have two webinars a month or on a training topic. They vary from marketing to website to planning live events. You can register for that at growmybrand.org forward slash webinar. So the basic website is growmybrand.org. Yes. Got it. That is correct. Okay, now my favorite question, and that's the big why question. The big why. Why, why, why? The big why. Why are you doing this, and why aren't you like a dog trainer or a ski instructor or, or a surfer? Why are you oh, doing this? this? Would be fun. Okay, <laughs> and I'll, I'll do my best to answer in the order that you asked. <laughs> I am not a surfer <laughs> because I can't swim. I am not a ski instructor. Uh, I've taken one ski lesson. I did not enjoy it. I found out that the snow was cold and it, I wanted a white Christmas. So I went to New York for Christmas and I learned that a white Christmas is overrated. I like hot Christmases. Okay. So that's Palm why trees. I'm not a ski instructor. Um, uh, I have a lot of allergies as many Texans do so that's why I'm not a dog instructor <laughs> okay. um, my big why I know you probably were not expecting that many answers oh, like my it. big my big why is I spent the first three years uh, of my business when I have a background in marketing and media so I left ABC which I thought I would retire from to start my own business in 2010 and I helped a lot of people. I made $500 in three years. So I helped a whole lot of people. I have really big success stories. I just saw someone who uh, received a new promotion at her new job in a career that she wanted. So I helped a lot of women, helped a lot of kids. I also worked with children at that time. I did not charge. I had all of these excuses. I had all of these reasons. I didn't want to sell. I did not know how to sell. 
and so many other things I didn't know. So I was legal. I had my EIN number. Everything was on the books. I had my website. I had my business cards. <laughs> I made no money and I spent a lot of money. And I went to a conference and I didn't know what business coaching was at the time when I went to that conference. And the lady was actually a, a brand coach. Her name's Jenna Rodriguez. And like you said, you know how you said when someone says one thing and it, it's like mind blowing? Mm -hmm. I always credit her with saying, so there was Jesus who changed my life first. And then there was Jenna. It was mind blowing. Like everything she said about business is just clicked. And I completely understood what I had been doing wrong for the last three years. Um, and so when I started to restructure my business and make those changes, I still wasn't in business coaching at that time. I just used what she taught in that three day live event. Um, and I started shifting my business and that within the six months after that live event, I made four times the amount in just that short six months than I had made in a total of three years of <laughs> doing it on my own thinking I knew what I was doing because I had a website and a business card. And so shortly after that, I uh, got, I hired my business coach and I just realized how the process of building a profitable business was very fun to me. I realized it was more fun than just doing the marketing side for just another business. And right. so I shifted into business coaching uh, because it's so much fun. And I feel like for me, it's very authentic because not only am I giving, you know, the counsel, the advice, the strategies to my clients, I'm steadily using it. So it's just so easy for me to sell, which I spent about a year of learning how to after not making Got a lot it. of money. It's so easy for me to invite people to work with me and to charge for it because I know what it's like to not charge and to just basically have an expensive hobby. Right. So that's my, my big why is because I've, I've lived it and uh, I enjoy helping people. I'm, I'm not going to be a doctor. That's not my calling. I get queasy watching Greg's, uh, Gray's Anatomy. So this is my way to help people uh, in a way that I can. So it's just so much fun to me. Got it. So you kind of paved the path. And because it's the analogy I use is like, like a combination lock that has three digits to it. If you don't know those digits, it's hard to open that lock. But if right. someone like you has gone through the path and you know the numbers, you can share that with the people. And some people say, no, 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 it's not 18. It's, it's 17. And you say, no, it's 18. Yeah. <laughs> And then they can open it up. That yes. proves that it's AC. Exactly. exactly. So I, I think coaches are a wonderful thing, and it's it's a good thing to be able to have. It, for me, I know I, it's hard for me to be coachable because I've been an entrepreneur all my life, and I think I know what to do. But some people need to say, no, 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 no. That's the old way. It's new now, and you have to listen to what I've got to say. So with that said, I don't like to make these too long because people, you know, they got things to do, but... Uh, it's all about the relationship, isn't it? To, to it get is. to know, like, and trust people. So I'm going to beam this one up to the universe. What I do is I take it and I put a little intro outro on here and put it up to YouTube. And then I take the YouTube and put it on, on blogs. And I take the blogs and put them out to social media. And if someone sees it, then they can give you a jingle. Okay. I appreciate you taking the time, Angel. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs>